Hello and welcome to the, uh, let's call it the late spring questions of the month, because this is, uh, this was, uh, April and May mushed together. Um, so, uh, I guess it's been too long, Alex. I don't remember. I don't remember if there's a flow to these. Oh God, it's all tumbling down. Oh no, bros. This is what happens when we're busy with our wage cages. We forget how to actually do our hobbies. Oh no! I take my take my coffee mug and ting 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 ting. ting, ting. That's me running it across my wage cage. I could rage against the wage cage. I guess uh, fuck it. Fuck it. First question here is from Zoomer, which is you know me. I am a Zoomer. Uh, after Smash Bros. Ultimate finishes up the first five DLC dudes, do you think they'll make a season two? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, Smash 4 didn't get one because they already started working on, like, the newest Smash Bros. <laughs> like, as soon as they finished. Well, I actually remember, uh, if I may, if I may interject. You may I'm, not. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm going to anyway, though. I'm a fucking renegade. I hit the fucking right trigger, dude. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Fucking Sakurai did say that if everything goes well, he would be interested in making that pack, too. Huh. Which basically means, because well, it's going to do well at Smash Brothers, there's going to be a pack two, which means one whole more, one more year, one more year of fake Smash Leagues on the internet every day! Now, before we actually move on, I do want to ask a question of my own. Tad, E3's coming up in just a couple days as of our recording, so let's make another ask for ourselves, just like the Grinch League, alright? So, lay it out front. We all know that Steve is not getting in, and if he is in, I'm going to fucking scream and shit. I don't want Steve in, but, but, I said it earlier, and I realized that someone, random person, on the fucking internet said this to me one time, and I was completely moved by it. I would rather have, this is what he said, I would rather have Steve over a rabid. Now I'm like, holy shit, I didn't even think about that. A rabbit could totally get in. Because they just did the Mario vs. Rabbids thing, right? And Rayman mm-hmm. was put into a, in, in the game as a fucking uh, spirit. So that means Rayman not only got his own serious kill by the bunnies, but the fucking bunnies took over his smash invite too. First you stole my franchise, and then you stole my house, and now you took my slot. I will be... Actually, Steve, I just don't want in. I will actually be angry if a rabbit got in over literally anybody else. So if Steve gets in, but a rabbit doesn't, I'll accept Steve. Only under that condition. <laughs> uh, literally the only character. There, there's two characters I want left in Smash, and that's Paper Mario and like Pig Ganon. And then optional Popeye or Goku meme choice. How's so as long as I get one of mine i don't even i don't they're already at the bottom of the barrel they added a wii fit trainer they're kind of done with like big name characters uh no one's gonna buy it for fucking pig ganon though so he's not gonna be in unfortunately it's gotta be someone wacky or anime that's the only way you can sell a dlc slot there was um a quote-unquote leak a few days ago that uh had stuff about the Pokemon thing that was coming up, where it's like, it it, it, la- it laid out a few things that did happen in the Direct, like the giant Pokemon and shit like that. And it also said that Doom Guy was going to get put in Smash. So <laughs> I I think Doom, I think the dude from Doom could probably get in Smash Bros. It'd be weird to see how they make it work, but he could, I don't know, I could see it. He's no Popeye, though fucking do i i'd accept it he's a video game character and he's from an iconic game too because most fps's are based off of doom when you when you get right down to it and doom's been on uh everything it's been on every fucking nintendo console doom has been on, on the... literally everything even fridges and cars <laughs> and calculators not playing the not playing the best version of doom on your t81 calculator based so yeah smash bros uh I should call it Super Soy Bros. Anyway, that's based. Yeah. yeah, they're almost certainly going to do it. Um, will I be excited for it? Eh, I don't know, maybe. So next question here is from Benedetto. You get to take a two week vacation anywhere in the world with up to three other people, living or dead. Where do you go and who do you go with? Oh, so, you want me to go first? All right, fine, fine, fine. I got this one. I got well, this one. I was going to say, yeah, I guess you can go first. If you've got yours ready, you can go. All right, so 
It specifically says in the world, so that limits my options. Normally, when it says shit like this, I just I just uh, shit post and say the moon, but I can't this time. He got me. So if I could go literally, <laughs> I want to go to the cl- I want to go to the top of Mount Everest with three of the largest people on a plane. I'm gonna climb them to get to the moon. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. So where I would go if I could go anywhere for two entire weeks, I would go. To my house for two weeks with me, myself, my, and I, and another version of me, and we'd all play video games together because Tad doesn't live here anymore, and I would love to actually play four player games again. Tab. <laughs> so instead. <laughs> so instead of like, oh, I can just play video games. Yeah, it'd be fun to play video games with Tad. Anyway, it's gonna be three other me's. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's gonna be me and you and that and this chip and oh fuck, what was the SpongeBob thing? What was it? it? Was Penny, Chip, and used napkin, right? Yeah, we're gonna go to the bottom of the mariachi trench. <laughs> no, um, if there's one place that I'd like to go to, um, I'd like to go to China. Why? Because China has like really fucking cool. Uh, geographic locations and shit. Because China's one of the oldest, like, civilizations around. And it's different. Like, if I, like, I can see castles and shit in Europe. I can, but, you know, we in America are part of Western civilization. So if you go to China, you get to see really old shit that is, like, not influenced by what i'm used to seeing like western it's it's a completely separate entity kind of like japan but i couldn't i'm not gonna say japan because i'm not a fucking weeb as to who i'd go with um my favorite like with, characters if i could go with anyone i could go with andrew hussey and then punch him in the face and then run away um but if i could choose literally anyone i'd probably choose something real goofy and get up to wacky adventures that could be like me Inspector Gadget, like a talking dog, a criminal mastermind. It basically, I wanted to play out like one of your dreams, Alex, where things just kind of happen. Things just kind of happen. Every time you open a door, you get transported to another fucking universe. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, uh, China has some pretty keno areas that I'd like to see. So, uh, next question here from Legendary Zephyr What's your favorite boomer meme? Oh, that one's easy. I didn't even have to think about it. Check it, check it's it. It's me. It. Yes, obviously. No, it's the mirror. No, there's this fucking, uh, this is RuneScape video <laughs> where, uh, the guy's, like, sli- trying to sleep. You know, you know the original, like, boomer meme where he's, like, sleeping and he's all, like, crying and stuff because the guy's mowing the lawn? Where it's, At uh... 10 in the morning! There's a drop party going out, oh, uh, out the window across the fence, and then you see this guy with a party hat come by, and he's a boomer, and it starts lighting a bunch of fires, and they all start burning out. It's so uh, fucking funny. <laughs> you've seen the video, because you're a real skater. Yeah, you've seen yeah. it. That's my um, favorite. My favorite is the one where it's um all the all the Wojaks playing their Nintendo Switch like the open mouth, like in a park, and then this truck comes by and then they turn it on and they're playing like Super Smash Bros. and it's the Super Smash Bros. intro with like these stupid fucking boomers. I haven't seen that one. I'll have to watch I'm it de- after doing we're this. We're describing videos in an audio format. It's really, really good radio. Yeah, dude. I like the boomer meme, though. It's I'm not going to say wholesome, but I'm glad that not every goddamn joke in the internet is these fucking, like, depression jokes and all that shit. I'm glad that there's just, like, contented old person memes. I, it's It's weird to describe, but I like it. I like boomers. Uh, next question here is from Anon Q. Not to be mixed up with QAnon. Do you know who QAnon was, Alex? Uh, vaguely. Uh, it was some dude who uh, would shit post on the internet and pretend to be like part of the Trump administration. It, it's where like the five dimensional chess thing comes from, where it's like, oh, Trump's doing all this and that and these and those. He's gonna take out the deep state, that kind of shit. I didn't, uh, I don't so- follow politics, so I wouldn't know. Uh, so this question here is, what is your absolute favorite sub 1,000 view video on YouTube? Uh, okay. I'll, so let, again, I'll let you go first, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually had the answer to this immediately. Ted took forever to find a good video because he's a fucking normie. 
It's this fucking, again, I had to describe <laughs> videos in a fucking podcast format. You guys in these fucking questions, I swear. But it's going to be in the, the description. It's this video back when Overwatch was actually still new and I liked it. Where it's Lucio, like, over this fucking city going, Oh, 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 time to accelerate, speed, boost! And the fucking planet starts spinning out of control as you hear people scream. It's this really <laughs> short fucking video. And me and my group of friends fucking loved it and put it in the sync tube all the time. It only had, like, 200 views and now it has 990. It still counts, fuck you. It'll probably have a thousand by the time you put the episode up, though. But, like, this has been up for, like, two years, and no one watches it other than us, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, I had to go through a bunch of videos, because all these videos I found got a bunch of views while I wasn't looking. Um, I did find one, though. Uh, I've mentioned it before. It's this these two British guys playing the Mario Strikers game for the Wii. It's called Mario Strikers Making Your Mate Rage. And they start off, and they're both having fun and, like, smiling and shit. And then the guy, because the goalie is completely RNG, you don't get to control him how he catches it or anything. The guy lands like six in a row and his friend just goes dead fucking quiet. <laughs> He's completely dead silent. And you can feel his anger. Then I find this video relatable because fuck that game. It makes me so goddamn angry. Same. So, yeah. Uh, describing videos in an audio format. Pretty good. Pretty well thought out. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Next question hey, here. They're questions. We can't control what That's these people true. ask us. Yeah, but I can make fun of them, and they can't respond, Alex. That makes me feel better, because that means that I have the advantage. They can't rebuttal and make me feel bad. Based. <laughs> Speaking of based. Uh, next question here is from Lugalis. That's L-U-G-G-A-L-I-S. Not Legolas. Ignore my drunken slurs. Do either of you watch the most boring show ever? Game of Thrones? Mm, no. no. Uh, there was a uh, call that my boss at work got, and he answered it, and he like started like really serious, like, yeah, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then he just starts talking about like elves and shit. I'm like, what the hell? And he was talking to like his wife about Game of Thrones. Um, I tried to get into it really when well, I was still living at home. And it, eh, eh, it's it's a, it's a bit hard to describe why it didn't catch me, but I'm like, this just feels like bad Lord of the Rings to me, because when I was little, I actually wore out my copy of the Lord of the Rings movies, like the DVD copy. I had to get a new one because it was skipping and shit. Nice. So fantasy for me is just so heavily tuned to Lord of the Rings that when I see stuff that's not it or like trying to be gritty and edgy and like real and adult, I just kind of like don't like it. Um, I actually haven't been watching a lot of recent shows at all. Uh, the most recent show that I keep up on is Better Call Saul. And I only keep up on that because I really liked Breaking Bad and I just watch it on Netflix. So I'm like one season behind constantly. See, I don't really watch anything because I don't care. Like, if you it's watch on TV, lunch break. If it's on TV, I ain't gonna watch it except for back at work. That's the only time I ever watched TV. And that's where I watched fucking Bones, that detective show where they examine people's skeletons and shit. And then, like, they got rid of Bones. Well, that was back when I used to work at, like, 3 in the fucking morning. Then they moved Bones to a different time slot, and I was so fucking bummed out about it, because it was, like, the only thing I liked to watch. Because what the fuck else is on, like, 2 in the morning, right? And you go to lunch? Infomercials. Yeah, seriously. But, uh, now, with my new schedule here, and I'm actually in the daytime, like a regular human being, now I get to watch fucking, uh, The Middle, which is some shitty fucking sitcom that's, like, new. But it's pretty, like, I've turned into an actual boomer, or Blackish, the the fucking Emmy Award winning show. Well, 57, he must be the oldest living black man alive. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Fucking. So, yeah, I, I think we mentioned that before in an episode, but, like, I don't really watch a lot of TV, and, like, I watch shit on the internet, and I play video games, and I'm just, like, some fucking random loser. So, sorry, I do not watch Game of Thrones or, or a lot of, like, shit. Because The Office is, like, really old, so that doesn't really count. <laughs> um, next question here. This is from Officer Wu. What are some things you'd buy or do if you just won a million dollars? Oh, dude, let me... I, I know the answer to these questions, like, immediately. No, let me go first. Let me go uh, first! If I go ahead, Mr. Homestuck fan, buy all the Homestuck merch so, you want. 
<laughs> I would literally never give Andrew Hussey another penny of mine. Yeah, because you would buy the Homestuck thing off of Viz Media and then rule Homestuck as the Homestuck King. I don't know. I don't know if a million dollars would be enough for that. Because Viz Media, if I own the rights, then I also, I'm assuming, get, like, merch sales. And there's, like, apparently Homestuck merch is still moving. But that's not what I do. Very first thing I do if I want a million dollars, I would not tell a single goddamn person. I would not tell my closest friends. I would not tell my family. I would not tell anyone. Um, I would use this money. The logical thing to do is like I would put it in like a trust and shit. But the fun thing to do would be to like just keep going about my life uh, and then use this money to scope out like crowdfunded games that like have serious people behind them. And I'm like, you know what? I like this. Boom. And then fund it. Be like that. Um, that is it. Asriel is that is that the the dude with the boomerangs? No, no. Asriel's from Undertale. His name's Rays. Rays. That was it. Rays or Rise, where he um goes to like every Kickstarter that lets you put a character in, and then gets that goal. I'd be like the Negaverse version of him, where instead of being an awful person, I'd be like an angel to these people who are like close to their funding goal and then just show up and give them money because I think I'm confident that they're going to be able to actually do it. Excuse me. So I'd be, I'd be the good version of that guy. All right. That'd be the fun thing. All right. So I thought about this for a while. Now the first obvious answer is imagine all that fate money, bros. Just no. buy a million dollars worth of fate and then Easy. feel that emptiness when you spent seven hundred thousand dollars and you didn't even get fucking Jolter. Hey, I have an MP4 Jolter, thank you. And you can't use Jolter, that's the Reddit name. Please use Horda. Shut the fuck up. This is this is fucking <laughs> your home stuck. Dabs. Alright, all right, man, this is a really good episode. Alright, so what I was trying to fucking say is uh what I what I what I would do is I would actually buy the rights to Homestuck just so that Ted couldn't have it. And then, <laughs> after I have bought the rights to Homestuck, anytime Ted talks about Homestuck, I say, um, sweetie, who owns the right to Homestuck? Yeah, I think I'm going to type into the chapter right now. And I'll just type some chapter specifically designed to piss him off. What's he going to do <laughs> about it? I'm the Homestuck I, now. I am the Homestuck king. He literally couldn't do anything about it. He could bitch and whine about, uh, about my writing. But here's the thing. I now run all of Homestuck. What's that? Ten more troll characters to waifu pander? And they're created. Boom. <laughs> Easy. Hive swap? Still never coming out. I hate See? it, Alex. So, right. uh, is there anything else you would do with a million dollars? I pretty much just buy... Ho- if I couldn't buy Homestuck, I would just hoard... Much like you, I would not tell anybody. I would just hoard the ever-living shit out of it and basically do what, uh fucking Greg did in Steven Universe, where he keeps his life going the exact same way that he does, except he also just has $10 million. <laughs> like, he still lives in his van, but he has $10 million fucking dollars. He doesn't care. That's fine. It's fine. So, this last question um, from Punished Alma, Man Denied His Fate. Uh, and his question is basically complaining about uh, people on the Discord So I wanted to take this as an opportunity to be like, man, Alex, having a public discord was a fucking mistake. What do you mean telling me that? I told you that like 10 times. Yeah, Alex, but as far as they know, I'm bringing it up for the first time, so I look smart and intelligent. Yeah, okay, asshole. You do that a lot. Okay, I want to point this out to the rest of the viewing audience who don't view these episodes as much. I'm the one who comes up with a lot of stupid shit Ted then quotes, which then steals out of my brain so I don't know what to fucking say. And then Ted could be all like, yeah, I totally made that up. <laughs> yeah, Alex, I'm kind of based. Dude, you're so fucking red-pilled right now. All right, so yeah. like, so I hate public discords. I hate this. We should have made this a Patreon-only thing like everybody else in the planet. But no, we have a public discord with like 900 fucking people and like five mods, so we just... Kind of, like, had to ban a lot of people, because a lot of motherfuckers come in here and say a bunch of stupid shit, because it's a public Discord, so who, what do they care? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it got to the point, like, pretty early on, actually, it got to the point where it's, like, you, it's very hard to, um, enforce a certain kind of, like, attitude in a public Discord, 
Um, especially because the attitude of like this podcast and shit is that me and you are just a couple of meme lords, but we also like know how to socialize for we're lack of a better word. Six, we're not 15 year old retards on the fucking internet. We're 24 year old boomers. Actually, you're like 25 now, ain't you? I'll be 25 on the 17th of June. Ah, so I was right. Yeah, I'll get you something good. Don't worry. Fucking, uh... Okay, so I want to bring this up to people. I'm going to say it, Ted. Now, should we remake the fucking Discord Patreon only? Make, I'll like... Put it to a vote. Like, I vote. I don't want to just do it, because that's rude. Let's ask the people. Hey, would you guys like us to just kill this and make a new and better one? Well... The way that I would do it, if we do end up doing it, would be I would leave this one and I would make a second Discord that's just like, just, just podcast stuff. It would be like, the channels would just be, let me tell you about Revival and like, just things that are very close to it. But I don't know. I I feel like it's gotten to the point now where I'd hate to splinter it off. Because there are people who have, like, their own, like, small little mini communities. Like, the Homestuck people in the Discord have, like, their own thing going on. It's got, like, a bunch of small things all kind of going on. It's it's too big, and I feel bad. I never like to ban anyone, especially when it's, like, a nebulous kind of reason. Like, this person is really annoying. There's not a specific reason I can point to to be like, oh, you broke this rule and you're out. It's just, like... I don't like you and you're really annoying. I'm just going to ban you. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's something that you can easily do with like a smaller server. Cause like, you know, everyone that's there and everyone's like, yeah, just fuck this guy. But when you have like a thousand people, it's, it's hard to keep track of. No one gets paid to moderate the, let me tell you about discord. It's not like a fucking, uh, the, the, the Homestuck one, like the big Homestuck one from the subreddit. They have a dude that has a Patreon just for fucking, his, his fucking managing his Discord. Like, God no damn. thanks. That's like, that level of moderation is something I don't want to do. That's a waste of everyone's time. Um, I'll, I'll put up the question, though. If, if there's a significant amount of people who would want a second Discord for just just podcast stuff then i'll I'll see about doing it uh but i i'm iffy on the idea i don't want to split it i think it's too late for that so but that but that is um hey better late than oh, never, also right? also Dab. uh if you do get banned from the podcast discord if you paypal me 200 us dollars i will unban you that is don't a I, promise don't actually say that asshole because someone's gonna actually do it that's fine. For $200, if you really want to get back in, sure. That's oh, okay. fine. Hey, oh, you, okay. you, you pushed me. You pushed the hand of God onto your side for 200 US dollars. So I can't say the word retard on the podcast, but oh, you can <laughs> beg for money. It's not begging. It's just they're atoning, Alex. It, it's coercing money. It's, it's, it's totally different. <laughs> hey, sh- sh- you want to post in the Discord again, don't you? <laughs> uh anyway yeah so uh good old questions of the month um sit boys is all sorts of fucked up i'm gonna actually if, if you're wondering where that is i got <laughs> i watched the first pass it's funny but i have to change some things or it's not going to be very entertaining to watch alex brought up the uh the crabby the clown thing and I feel bad because I feel like I hyped it up really high now. So. And also, also, there was Jeepy the Cheapskate. <laughs> All right, so I want to tell everyone about Sit Boys. Really bad. Can I, I'm not going to spoil anything in the jokes. I just want to like let them know so they can kind of get a reality of what's going on. Mm-hmm. So Ted is not a professional guy. For if you got any expectations, you guys ever watch that guy with the glasses and any of their skits that aren't all that funny? <laughs> yes, I'm putting you on blast. Give me a second. It's basically like that, but for 20 minutes. It is basically a le- of a fucking. Uh, it's a let me tell you about that guy with the glasses comedy sketch routine of Tad, his clone, and some other guy I don't know doing fucking <laughs> jokes. Some of which are funny, some of which aren't. But it's about as professional as you think it is, and it's fun and all. 
But I don't think it was a good idea to hype it. If you just put it out and just said, here's a fun thing we did, nobody would have cared. But you're like, hey, welcome down to Krabby Land. And you stick around here and spend some money and you'll get to see Krabby the Clown. You had to fucking hype it up so much. Listen. I had a lot of expectations for myself that I didn't quite reach. I'm go- well, I'm gonna try and see if I see what I can do with it. Well, yeah, I'm it's... glad you got to have this experience because now you see what kind of things that those people went through that we used to watch when we were kids, and now you see the the troubles that they had and why some of the things turn out the way that they did. It's a very difficult procedure. Yeah. So that's what's going on with that. So uh, hopefully, people did click this uh, question of the month and then actually see it at the end. Because for some reason, people like I noticed it like the view thing, like both on the RSS and the YouTube one, because it I think the questions of the month sounds like it's one of those weird optional things, you know. So I think sometimes people are like, eh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it. We'll we'll go ahead and uh, end this episode. I'm going to go back and edit out all the fucking truck noises. Oh, I had a guy with a leaf blower outside my fucking window, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh uh thanks for sending in questions um on the patreon i put it i'll put a post that has a link to the june questions uh they always have like a theme that you can submit and all that crazy shit but uh you can check out the discord before i fucking nuke it which will be in the description uh youtube itunes google play spotify uh, it was. It used to be on SoundCloud too, but now I got rid of SoundCloud because it's garbage. Um, uh, Alex. Uh, oh shit! I was gonna say something funny. I forget what it was now. It was about Crabby the Clown. What was the thing that he said? What? Give me, give me the the future line that I'm going to say when I release Sip Boys. You promised those kids Crabby the Clown, but all I saw out there was Jimmy the Cheapskate. Hey, I'm not cheap. Yeah, now put this tomato back in the kitchen before it spoils. (laughs) All right, goodbye.